So Canon recently released an update to the XA50 and XA55. You can now shoot in Canon Log 3 on this camera, which is pretty cool. Problem is you can't just go to the Canon website and go to the Canon XA50 and find the LUT. It's hidden somewhere else. So today I'm gonna to show you where to find it, how to download it, and how to install it in Final Cut Pro. First thing, go to usa.canon.com. At the top, where it says support, click support, and go to software and drivers. For some reason, the search bar didn't work, so I had to scroll down to cameras, go to X-Series, and then you'll see XF705. Click on that, scroll down to where it says software, click on software, and the third one down says Canon Lookup Table version 2019. Select it, download, after it downloads, open it up, and you'll see a folder called Canon LUT 2019-11. I don't know what the 11 means, but it's there. Go inside there and you'll see three folders. One is a 17 grid, a 33 grid, and a 65 grid. I don't know what these mean exactly. I kind of looked it up. I do know that the 17 grid is not as good quality as the 33 or the 65. 65 is supposedly the better quality LUT but it does, uh, it does bog your computer down if you don't have enough RAM running the thing. So, uh, but I went ahead and installed all three of them. Go inside each folder and you will find the BT709 Canon Log 3 to BT709 YDR 17FF version 2.0. Copy and paste that anywhere on your computer. Do the same thing with the 33. You'll find the same one, BT709 Canon Log 3, and it'll say 33 instead of 17. Copy and paste that. Go back out, go to the 65 grid, find the same file, except it'll say YDR65, copy and paste that. So once you've downloaded the LUTs, open up Final Cut, and to install, open up the inspector. Make sure it's on extended, and right here it says camera LUT. It defaults to none. Scroll down and where it says add custom camera LUT, click on that and then go to wherever you copied and pasted the, the LUTs. Now you can probably just take it right out of the, the downloads folder. I went ahead and copied and pasted it. It doesn't make much of a difference. You could do one or the other. Find the LUTs on your computer, select all three, and open. It'll take a second for these things to install. Once they're installed, you can, where it says camera LUT, you can scroll down and you can see the new LUTs installed. This one right here is an older version. So I really can't tell the difference between any of these LUTs, to tell you the truth. But if your computer can handle it, go ahead and use the YDR65. So one way to use the LUT after you have imported your video from the camera, you can select all the video. I'm not gonna select it all, I'll just select a few clips here. And in the inspector over here, where it says camera LUT, you can add the LUT and it will add it to all of the ones you have selected up here. Another way I'll undo that is if you already have something edited, like this video is already edited, just select all the video clips, go to LUT, add the LUT to it, and there you go. It's added. Here, I'll show you the difference. So here's a video clip with the LUT applied to it. Turn the LUT off. That's what it looks like right out of the camera. This is what it looks like when the LUT is applied to it. Now you can see this is a 65 version. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you the the older version to this LUT. I really can't tell them much of a difference. But you might as well use the latest version and the 65 if your computer can handle it. That's pretty much it. If you have any questions about LUTs, don't ask me. I don't know how they work. I don't know what all the numbers mean. Look it up, it's complicated, I know that. Thanks for watching this video and uh, make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, Unlike the video, I don't really care. Leave a comment below. Maybe I can answer the question. Maybe not. Thanks for watching.